Hey guys, GameRub here. Uh, this is my bookcase jump tutorial. Uh, this trick can be done on both versions of the game. It's used to skip the majority of Chapter 3 in the current Any% percent route. So, first thing is make sure you say no to Grubba. Then you can walk freely. Um, this trick is kind of hard to explain. I'm going to do my best, but it can be very, it can be tricky to learn. You're going to have to play around with it. You're going to have to do it a lot just to get the angle and timing down. Um, so first thing you want to make sure you're doing is you want to make sure you're doing a full jump. So what this means is you want to be holding A long enough to get the maximum height. So as you notice by the door frame, if I tap A, Mario's hand just goes to the very top of the door frame. But if I hold A, it goes above. So you want to make sure you're holding A the uh, needed length of time to get a full jump. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down, and you're gonna come onto the couch, and you want to stand on this top red part of the couch. The pr the initial position isn't too precise, but you want to be around on the top part of the couch. Um, and the spot you're aiming for to jump to is right about here. You want to be looking at Mario's shadow, um, and if you notice, you can see that the top left part of Mario's shadow is inside the bookcase from this position. So this is what you're aiming for. Um, so what you want to do is, from here, I basically just hold up left. And you can see how I'm getting about to the corner. And then what you're going to do is you're going to spin jump at the height of your jump. So again, if you want to practice that by the door frame, spin jumping at the height of your jump, it's important. The timing is very important for this. So. Stand on the top part of the couch, hold up left, and if you time the jump correctly, if I can do it, you'll end up here, on the bookcase. And if you look at Mario's shadow, this is what a good position looks like. This is what you're aiming for. So, I'll try to show you the different spots that you can end up. If you're going up here, like if you're up here in the air, that means that your angle is too high up. It's too far up. If you're ending up down here, that means that your angle is too low. So you have to try and adjust on the fly. Like if if your uh, if your gut up left isn't working for you, then try to adjust a little bit higher or lower. But the main the main parts of this trick are get a full jump, spin jump at the height of your jump, the timing is very important, and then you have to have the correct angle so that you hit the corner of the bookcase. If you do all these things, this trick becomes very easy once you, once you learn what you're doing. So, I hope this has helped. Like I said, this trick will take time to learn. You have to get good at recognizing the correct angles. I'll do it a few more times just to make sure you can see what it is. Um, one last thing actually, when I was learning I found it helped me to stand he in here, which is like the good position, and then go down right, up left. If you go down right and then try to go back to the same spot, that can help you kind of just learn the correct spot. So, I hope this has helped. And, uh, oh, well, I guess once you complete the trick, you can walk into the vent, and if you have the super hammer or ultra hammer, you can break out of the vent and skip to the end of the chapter. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope this helped.